Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Today we're talking about a brand new family influencer. Her name is Felicia Aquilo. Aquilo, I don't know how you pronounce that. Her husband, Steve. They exploit their deaf child on the internet because as you know, this is one of the most atrocious things I see is people using their kids' disabilities for content clicks, likes, and like, you're a good man. But what pissed me off is not just that, but it's they have a child who they thought was deaf and is not deaf, and they're upset about it. I kid you not. It's not gonna be a super long video today because it's a brand new family, but let's talk about it. said it's not gonna be a super long video today because I don't really know them they don't have that much content but their names are Felicia Aquilo Aquilo I think it's Aquilo whatever of course her name is Felicia by Felicia so Felicia here is a I guess they are uh, ex addicts and they had a baby and that baby was deaf okay and then they capitalized on this baby being deaf she has a hundred and five thousand followers on here um, let's see what she has she obviously she sells collections Lansano collections because she's sponsored Sweet signs of motherhood.com links. So she sells literally hearing aids through her page. Now, I wouldn't be so opposed to this if you weren't actually using your child. If you say, look, we have a deaf child. We're not going to show you our deaf child. You're not going to know anything about our deaf child. Just trust us. We have a deaf child. And here's some things you can do while having a deaf child. And then you can do your sponsorships and everything else, right? And so she obviously has 100,000 100, followers is not nothing, okay? That's a lot of followers on Instagram. She's blue check marked. And um, her and her husband have been capitalizing on her their kid's deafness um, for a little while now. And of course they're making money on it. So you know my, my whole rule here is, and I've had some pushback on when I cover kids, especially that um, kids that were terminal and moms that were using their kids to grow channels with millions and millions of followers, okay? And they would put their kid on the internet every single day of their life, and then they would claim it's to raise awareness, right? Don't even get me started. So let's talk about this idea of raising awareness, and I've talked about this many times on my channel before, okay? We're aware. People are aware that deaf people exist. Now, I understand that families that have deaf children are looking for support, and there is support you can get on private Facebook groups, on private groups, therapies, doctors, there's lots of places you can go get them without exploiting your child. So I don't ever want to hear this from influencers ever, okay? That we're spreading awareness. Because you can spread the awareness anyway without using your child. So there's really no excuse. I don't care. That's I know people say that there's gray areas and everything else. And maybe there is some kind of out in the ether, some kind of like, okay, I can understand and I can say, okay, well, that makes sense then, okay, right? But that's, that's like one in a million, okay? So, I mean, I'm sure it exists out there and I'm sure I could concede that to some degree, okay, I understand why you'd have to show this or whatever, right? But when it comes to things that are kind of normal in human development, like being deaf and stuff like that, Okay, I understand that people are looking for support. I understand that. I'm never ever gonna diminish the fact that people go online for that. It's a reality of who we are, okay? But again, you can do all of this. And I think everybody would agree, even those who are looking for the support, that you don't need to see the child. The child does not need to be exploited. You do not need to grow a channel and make money off advertising for that, okay? Because as soon as you say the words, we're doing this to raise awareness, but you make money doing it, then I don't wanna hear another word out of your lips, okay? Your donut hole can stay quiet. Do you understand? Because that negates everything you say after that. As soon as you have made money off your child who has a disability to some degree, you are wrong. You are exploiting that child. The end. Okay? Now, if there is someone out there who's literally just raising awareness to something, they're not making money, every penny they goes to like the, the awareness thing, I could even concede, okay, well, at least they're trying their best. You know what I mean? But these, you can see right through the people who do this because if it was all about that, then they wouldn't be doing stupid videos, right? So anyway, all that to say, this is her This is her channel and it's all about her postpartum, it's all about her. She wants to be like, she wants to be famous, right? She wants so badly to be famous and she's trying her best and she's kind of a douchebag about it too, to be honest, because I'll show you the video first. So let's watch this video where they talk about, and I want you, I want you guys to just like hear this and tell me if I'm, maybe I'm clutching my pearls because I hate exploiters, but tell me how this video makes you feel. Okay. So we have some news. Um, as most of you know, we went to the audiologist today and Eden had her AVR. First of all, I gotta stop you there. First, when you say the first words, as most of you all know, we took our baby to the doctor. 
immediate red flag for child exploitation. Why would most everybody know you're taking your kid to the doctor? That's because you share everything about your child online. Hey, we're going to the doctor. And you probably did content about, hey, we're going to the doctor. We're taking our child to the doctor. Everything is about this child's, not everything. The things that gets them the most views is the stuff with the children in it. Let's be real. The stuff with them in it doesn't get as many views. And that's the way this always works. So first of all, major red flag. As most of you know, we're doing all these things. So she, she's, she's a hearing baby. She can hear perfectly fine, typical hearing out of both ears. That's it. There's not even a need to do a video like this. But she says, as most of you know, you're waiting to hear back because you knew we went to the doctor. And so we now have to update strangers on our baby. Guys, I hear the words and understand the logic of this. Why are strange people following strange people's babies? What is it to you? And if it's about raising awareness, okay, fine. What is like the number of people who have deaf children are following you? 1%, right? For the most part, people follow these types of channels. And remember those other ones we did with those children? I forget the disease that they had, um, San Filippo syndrome. It presents in a different way. And so people are watching these types of things because you made your children zoo animals. They're watching something they don't get, norm get to normally watch because it would be like, it, it, it's inappropriate to stare in public. It's inappropriate to ask these types of questions to these people. And so they watch this stuff online because they can do it anonymously. And it's, again, you're making your child a zoo animal. There's no other way to put this. You're putting them in a fishbowl and strangers who want to watch this stuff out of morbid curiosity are watching it. And your, your child is the, <laughs> is the content. So right there, after she said it, the baby can hear, yay, that's awesome. We're so happy we have a hearing baby. That's it, that's all I have to say. And so no matter what your journey is, you know, we have one child that's deaf and we are, we're here for them and we're doing all these awesome things and we have one that's not and that's just awesome. But that's not what happens. No hearing loss at all on either side and we are shocked. Some level, some degree of loss I was expecting. It's a weird feeling, definitely weird. We were already had accepted and like... It's a weird feeling. We are ready to start this journey over again. We are shocked. Like maybe you could have used a different word. I don't know. But we are shocked our baby is healthy. We're shocked. And what's going to piss you off more is later we'll show a video where they're doing this thing where they do this journey where there's the shoes. Della Vlogs, they all do it. Okay, they do this journey with the shoes. Ew, first year, blah, blah, blah. We fell into a volcano. Second year, blah, we had a baby. And then we exploited it. They do that. And in that video, they talk about how they were drug addicts. And I'm not sure if the the, the first baby had the defects because of the drug addictness. I don't know. But they're talking about that, right? And they capitalized and they grew because they have a deaf child. They grew a social media platform where they get paid and for advertisements because they have a deaf child. Okay, so she's shocked that this second baby isn't deaf. And they're a little bit upset about it. But then they're like, obviously we're grateful that we don't need another yeah, it sounds like it. cochlear implant surgery. Honestly, we were ready and, you know, kind of excited for a little tiny pink hearing aids again. Hear that again. Obviously we were excited that our baby was going to be deaf so we can get tiny pink hearing aids. Hear that. Don't miss it again. Obviously we were excited that our baby was deaf so we can get tiny pink hearing aids. Send the asteroid, everybody. This is where we, this is what we have become. They were excited. Why were they excited? Because they were going to make content out of it. They were going to create tiny pink hearing aid. Look at the ones you can choose the colors. More sponsorships were going to come your way. They were excited about hearing aids for their child. They were excited about the content. Not that their child was deaf. I don't think that they were excited. And it honestly sounds like they were excited that they had another deaf child. I don't know how else you can you can say this. We kind of feel like we're missing out on the experience. Yeah. She said that and he agreed with it. I we 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 feel like we're missing out on that experience. You already had that experience with your first child. What do you mean you're missing out on it? You've already experienced it. So imagine wanting for your child for them to be deaf. Imagine wanting that and being disappointed when they are not. Is this not Munchausen syndrome by proxy? Is that not what this is like a textbook case of? This is the most disgusting thing I've seen in a long time on this channel. 
And and they're like obviously going on a deleting rampage of the comments because I'll show you them. And they blocked me, obviously, because I said, you guys are assholes for doing this. You're disgusting. Welcome to the show. Block me instantly. Don't want to have a conversation. Obviously. I mean, I was rude. Um, but like imagine saying we are honestly disappointed our child's not deaf. I can't. I, and, and putting it on the Internet. This is what we have made of these people because they make their social. They make their living doing this. OK. And they're disappointed that they can't capitalize on it. Guys, that's so crazy. I think we have prepared ourselves for a whole new journey with her. And um, now we don't, we aren't going to have that, which is fine. Which, um, feels, which is fine. It sounds fine, doesn't it? It sounds fine. A little bit. Like, like I miss it. Yeah. A little bit like I miss it. You miss having a deaf child. Well, you have one there. So what are you saying right now? You have a deaf child. I'm, I, 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 I am flabbergasted that these types of people exist on the internet. They are complaining their child doesn't have hearing defect. They are complaining about it on the internet to strangers and their fans. They're fans who come because of their deaf child. We have reached peak send the asteroid levels of humanity. This is the type of people we send asteroids for. So I guess if you don't have deaf kids, um, you would not understand why we would have any like uneasy feelings or like not knowing how to explain our feelings. I'm sure there are parents out there who wish their kid wasn't deaf. And there are like, I, I, I understand that parents of deaf children love their children and want what's best for them. But do you think they would, we, we, they would wish that on their next child? Do you think that anybody would wish that on anybody? Now, I know deaf people live great and glorious lives. Like one of my best friends, lots of deaf people in their family. Mark speaks fluent sign language. Like they live great lives. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but would you want that for somebody? Right, you wouldn't. And so what they're trying to explain something and they're making it worse every single time. But it is just kind of weird. Obviously we're grateful for, mm, you know, make sure you throw that situation. In there. We're sort of grateful. And moving forward, I know it's going to be great and they're the way they all should be. Yeah. It's perfect. This yes. is her journey and either way it was going to be fine. It's good news. Either way you were going to explode on the internet? Is that what you meant to say? This is one last thing on her plate that she's got to navigate as far as having the ACC going on. It's oh, yeah, there's more things that she has going on. We'll let you know. So we know the deafness, we got the ACC. We'll let you know about that. Keep Stay tuned for that. Wow. Like, right? Am I, again, am I clutching pearls? Or does that make anybody feel really uneasy? Really, really, really weird. See, and then she's doing content. How can two hearing people create a bunch of deaf kids? There's only one kid. I mean, bunch of deaf kids. See, look at this. POV, you're a mom, you're healing era. The era thing. Uh, while teaching your kids to embrace their differences and love who they are, you found my account. She's, she doesn't. She's disgusting, okay? Because you don't ever say that, and that's going to be on the internet now forever. Your kid's going to find out one day you wish they were deaf. Like, you out of your mind. Now, here's the content. Here's the video. And here are the comments. So, she got ratio. This is probably her most watched video. I don't know what the count is on this video. But it's her, likely it's her most watched video, okay? And she got ratio for it. And deservedly so. Okay, so she had to write this. Saying that we're shocked and it's a weird feeling doesn't mean that we're sad and disappointed. Well, it looks like that to us and sounds like that because we're human and we have ears. And we can watch and hear what you just said. So you should have just deleted this video and said, we're sorry for, to our child for saying that. We're sad. Okay, uh, doesn't mean we're sad and disappointed. Those of you confused why we're not overly excited and showing what you consider an acceptable level of happy emotion in this video clearly you don't understand that we do not view deafness as something wrong with our children, except she said that in there. She actually said it in the video and alluded to it not being perfect. Like this is, she's healthy, basically what she said in there. So she's lying there. And a child being deaf is a genetic defect, okay? So it is what it is. I mean, it's amazing the technology we have and everything, but you wanted pink cochlear implants. That's cute little pink hearing aids for content. So we're just, I'm just talking it from the content perspective. And what she is saying with her own words and then lying in this statement. We weren't hoping one way or the other. Well, it sort of sounds like you really were because then you said things like, we were really hoping for little pink, cute hearing aids. So you were hoping for it. Stop lying, asshole. But having deaf children is our normal. Our normal is changing. Our daughter was referred for further testing for a newborn hearing screening. We already thought about her having hearing loss and getting little pink hearing aids. She's admits it in the next sentence. 
So yes, it was shocking that she doesn't need them. Oh my gosh. You don't realize it sounds worse when you say that? Whoo. So yes, it was shocking she doesn't need them. Yes, we feel like we're going to miss them. The weird feeling because we experience them with both our other children. Okay, two of their children are deaf. It's all that we know. We're th- well, we mean it's all that we know. I, oh my gosh. We're thrilled and grateful she's hearing just as we we would have been thrilled if she were deaf. No, you would have been more thrilled if she was deaf because there would have been more content. You would have been three kids with th- three two parents of three deaf children. Your content would have been more niched. You would have made more money. Hearing status does not define a person. Well, it defines your channel and the exploitation that you do here. So let's be real. It defines what you, what people follow you for. Okay, because they're not following you guys for your great content because it's garbage. Like I said in the video, if you're not a parent of deaf children or a part of deaf community, you'll most likely not understand that's fine. Our feelings are valid regardless if you understand them or not. No, your feelings are disgusting. And because you put it, this is another one of those, it's another example of influencer putting something out there that's atrocious and being like, it's none of your best math. Then why did you put it out there? You made it our business when you put it on the internet. You make a living on your 100,000 followers on Instagram. You make money doing this. You put it out there. We get to comment on it. Shut your damn pie hole. Ask questions, read other comments, educate yourself, and most importantly, act like your mother taught you how to be human and treat others with respect. Okay. No. So you don't get respect. And here's why. Because you're an asshole. You both are dickheads for exploiting children with hearing disabilities. When you don't have to use the children to do it. You can, you can get out there and tell everybody your kid's deaf. No one needs to know their name, see their face, or anything like that. And you can still do the same dang content. You absolutely can and you know it. So I don't ever want to hear that raising awareness, you need to show a kid's face because you don't. You can raise awareness without showing a kid's face. We can all agree on that. Okay? And two... You make money doing this and you're a butthole. And three, you put it out there. And so yes, people get to comment. It's literally why you do it. You don't just get to put something out there and only get good comments because you think you deserve it. Okay, that's not how this works. That's not how this works. Some, she's responding to someone that says here, would you feel differently if I was shocked and feeling uneasy in this video and now to my baby is deaf? It's kind of gross that you think hearing is superior. Do you have deaf? You have, no one is saying that. What we're saying is that you are upset that your child isn't deaf because you couldn't get cute pink hearing aids. When you didn't have to say any of this, none of this had to happen. You didn't have to create drama, but this is her most watched video. It's helping her gain subscribers, right? And she think, and it's good for her, so she kept it up. No one thinks that having a deaf child is less, right? But you're the one projecting that onto everybody, that you're upset about it. Even her own comment gets 24 likes. Jeez. I wrote something. I obviously deleted it. You sound disappointed that she can hear. Read the caption. Well, that's t- no thanks. We did read the caption and you made it worse. I'm kind of shocked that you were disappointed she was healthy. Just an odd reaction. Definitely sound more excited to have, for her to have a disability than hearing. That's what we all heard. Right? And that's most some of these comments are like that. I wrote a comment like that. And that's what we all heard. All of us who have ears and can understand language, especially the English language, understood what she was saying. Now, you don't get to t- turn it around and be like, oh, you're wrong, because we're not wrong, because you said it with your words. Hearing does not equal health. Read the cap. Shut up. You're stupid. It's kind of gross that you're disappointed she has full hearing. See, it's not just me. Who said disappointed? You said disappointed in the video. You may not have said it, but your body language and attitude told a different story. I agree. They both sound somewhat disappointed that they couldn't make the hearing impaired journey with this baby. It's a very strange video. Did you read the, no, we're not going to read your caption. You you just delete the video, re-upload the video then, do something different. You say you're kind of excited for pink hearing aids and feel like you're missing out on the experience. Even your demeanor when you started the video made one think you had bad news. This is how it comes across. Maybe you should see that, but I'm not the only one who did. Exactly. I wasn't trying to come across as happy for your approval. You're stupid lady. You're dumb. You absolutely are looking for approval. That's what you put this on the internet for. You want people to say you're such a good mom because you're walking two kids who are deaf through the life and you're like, look at how good we are and how amazing we are. That's what you're, this is exactly what you are looking for when you do this type of content. So F off, we're not stupid. Just happy she's doing well. A little sad for you and Steve though. You can't have those secret conversations and snacks. That's stupid. That's disgusting. Sad that you can't have secret conversations and snacks without her hearing. Did you just say that and she laughed about it? Seriously. That's, you think that's funny? Hmm, that's an odd reaction. Seems like you're not happy that she's hearing. I know you're used to it, but it's a good thing for her. Also, she will have the best of all worlds because she will be fluent in ASL. 
See, she keeps going, how am I not happy? Because we saw the video? We all saw it and heard it? She keeps, like, projecting, like, what do you mean I'm not? Well, did you watch it? <laughs> clearly, there's every comment is about it, so clearly you did something that set and triggered people off to say those things. See, look at this comment. How beautiful to be able to experience both bits of perfection. I can't wait to watch her grow up with her brothers. See, that's the problem here. This comment here. I cannot wait to watch her grow up with her brothers. A stranger on the internet cannot wait to watch a strange baby grow up on the internet. Very interesting. I feel so blessed with these babies. You feel so blessed with this content. Don't lie. Anyway, she's obviously on a massive deleting spree. So she gets, she gets really, she gets panned in the comments. She gets ratioed. And then she makes this video. POV, internet assets trying to press your buttons, but you pay for therapy to process feelings instead of projecting BS onto strangers. See, she's very happy she got this attention because otherwise, why would she do this? A, a normal person who gets panned and gets like called out for these types of comments would just delete be like, that's right, man. <laughs> I look back on it, you're right. It looked like that, but that's not actually how I felt. Here's the real thing. Nope, she capitalized on that. She put her kids into this drama and is capitalizing on the drama and is like, look at me, I'm gonna drink this cup. Hey, you asshats are trying to get mad at me for not for hating that my kid actually can hear? You're an idiot. You are an idiot, Felicia. You are a moron. You and your husband are disgusting pieces of trash. Get it? I blocked a lot of people in the past 24 hours and it feels really good. Well, that's not gonna help. You could block as many people as you want, but what you said is out there forever and your kids one day are gonna see that. Ignore the haters. So she just deletes comments she doesn't like, right? She wants only your good comments. So if you have something important to say about what she does, okay, then you should, then you could put that in there. But no, don't, don't ever call me out for something I've done wrong or said something wrong. Don't ever do that. We don't want to be, we're not, we're not in our accountability era yet. Well, you are now. So here's that video they did. I'm going to obviously change the music. Um, but this is the video they did, right? And so people like this who are like just trying to raise awareness of something, don't do videos like this. 2015, both on drugs, hopeless. We met a very vulnerable time in our lives right after rehab. Everyone said it wasn't going to work, but we didn't listen. Two years later, they had a baby and got the biggest surprise of our lives when he was born profoundly deaf. And they're bad actors. Oh, 2018, our relationship was tested in multiple ways from learning how to raise a deaf child and blaming ourselves to experiencing the stillbirth of our second son. We decided we were stronger together. We took a leap in forever and got married. So awkward. Okay, next, let's go. We learned we were having another baby boy who was also born deaf the time we weren't so surprised. Twenty twenty three realized how much we've overcome and how why does he have no shirt on? Okay. More ways in living a life didn't seem possible. Sure, did he get pregnant? Okay, so here's the thing. So people like this, they find some kind of fame in some kind of niche thing. And so then they do all the same things everybody else does. They became family vloggers or family influencers who use their child to make money. Now, my challenge goes to you, Felicia and Chris or whatever the hell your name is. David, I don't know what his name is. Barkley. Okay, my challenge to you is take your kid off the internet. See if your content survives. Because look at the comments. Please make another one. I love this. We need an update on your beautiful daughter. Love your story. Been following since Isaiah was a baby. See? Having babies on the internet gets you followers. That's, cr that's crazy to me that that's a thing. Adults out there, especially women, who follow these people to follow families, do you not know that you're weird and creepy? And most dudes will probably think the same thing. Like, I want you to go, if there's like single ladies out there watching this family vlog content because you like want a family and you want to see what it's like, blah, blah, blah. I need you to tell that to your prospective dudes, okay? Hey, I like watching strange babies on the internet. Is that cool with you? Guys are going to be like, no, it's not. That's what's gonna happen. And then she does this one where she basically says she's gonna threaten a kid. <laughs> Me handling a bully at my kid's school like the healed and calm adult that I am. She's saying she's healed Remember and calm. Remember me. I will come down here and I will fuck you up. Sounds normal, right? See, she's a woman who thrives in drama. She likes this drama that she's got. Now she will absolutely capitalize on this more and more as you see this going forward. Make sure you head over there and you let her know how you feel about that, though. I'm sure she'll block you, though. If you get blocked, it's a badge of honor. See, I, I am against bullying. You guys know me. I was bullied completely. And if my kids are bullied, I would absolutely 
figure out a way for them not to be bullied, okay? But don't, like, pretend you're going to threaten children on the internet, you idiot. There you go. Another family influencer who's using their child's disability to make money and then gets upset at something that she said was absolutely wrong for her to say. And is, like, perplexed as to why. Why would you be upset with me? <laughs> what did I say? Can you imagine putting this on the internet and knowing that you're wrong about it and then defending that you're upset that your child doesn't have a hearing disability? Could you imagine putting that on the internet? Like, oh my God, like maybe you feel these things inside, okay? But not everything has to be shared on the internet. Let's like, let's stop that. Not everything in the world has to be shared on the internet. There are times for private moments, especially when it comes to children. Let children have their private moments not posted online for the world to see. Understand? Do you all agree with me? All right, everybody. I know what's wrong, but take a breath with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing. Protect your kids. Don't follow stupid morons like this. Okay? Do not give these people your follow. Do not give them your watch. Do not follow them for raising awareness. Okay, it's not raising awareness. What it's doing is patting their pockets off the backs of their children. Okay, if you want to know about deaf children, I'm sure there's many professionals out there you can talk to. You, again, you could join private Facebook groups and get the support you need there. You don't need to go to TikTok for morons like this who absolutely thrive in drama who want it because they're not doing it for the right reasons. As soon as she turned around and called everybody asshats for calling her out for that, you knew she wasn't doing this for the right reason. That changed everything right there. She wants the drama and she puts her kids in front of it so she can feed her ego. You guys, don't watch it. Okay? But you guys are amazing. Protect your kids. Be there for them. Do what's necessary for them. Do we take a deep breath? I think we Do it again anyway. Okay? And I will see you when I see you. It is right, it is right.